Welcome back guys to another updated mod tutorial. Um, so what I decided on this one was the train because uh, for me there was a few things that changed. So um, quite easily uh, there wasn't that that much but there was there was a few things. So so no doubt uh, you go in and yay she stops. Alright, so uh, first things first, let's get rid of everything so that we are all on the same page. And I think I grabbed my landscape. Yes, you can go away. The only thing is I'll keep the general switch because uh, everybody has one of those. Alright, so first things first, uh, let's just plop in the train inside of here. Let's put in our spline network. Uh, spline, 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 spline. So you need the BP spline rail prop one. Bring her in. I'll put it flush to the floor. You guys can do a nice little design. I just want to do this quick so you guys can go out and have some fun. I'm gonna get rid of these guys because yeah. <coughs> so what you need to do is uh, once you have this guy selected here, just grab this little guy and. Just drag it to about the size you want it, and then afterwards hold the Alt, A-L-T, on your keyboard and drag. And then you can keep doing that to make new segments every time. And as well, you can come up to your segments, press the E button, and kind of give it a nice little curve, right? All right, easy enough, as well as going up and down, but I don't really think I need to tell everybody that, right? You guys are pretty good at that. Okay, so next things next is we need. Uh, I just want to put everything in so that we have it. Depot. So right, depot in your content browser. Drop in a BP depot button and a BP depot switcher one. Okay. Select your train. Over here in the content browser, you have spline actor. Just put in that spline rail prop one. That we put and he'll automatically go on the railing all right on the rails sorry all right so now with our switcher here selected we'll go down to the electric components hit the plus button none and connect it to our power source all right next is the button connect it to that switcher that we just put right here so button so uh, switcher 1 to general switch, button to switcher 1, and then train to button. So scroll down to the uh, electric component down here and connect to none and put it to the button. Okay, now the one thing is these always start on. So just put them, can I do it at the same time? Yes, I can, right there to off. All right, so under Tumblr state, put it to off. Now, when we press play and she actually plays, here she is. Okay, let's hit that. Nothing happens. Let's hit that. Oh, yay. Let's try and get in. Yay, we're in. Okay, so all you got to do is uh, press E button here and you come in the... Uh, the driver's seat and just press W and you'll start to go and it'll keep looping around and if you want to uh, stop it just press the S button so kind of like anything else W to move S to go back well it doesn't really go back but there you go so W and S and you have a working uh, at this point I don't know how to make it go without you being in it so if anybody can figure that out, put that in the comments, and that would be really, really grateful and helpful to everybody else. So with that, I'm going to leave it be. Um, have fun uh, going on your little train there, setting it all up, and I'll see you guys in the next video.